I'm Wendy Garner for Children's of Alabama. This time of year, kids are bringing home more colds and flu, but also something a little more dangerous, meningitis. Join me right now is Dr. Mark Baker, who is a physician in the emergency department. So good to see you. Thank you. Meningitis, first of all, is an inflammation of the meninges in that's, the brain. That's correct. Those are the areas around the brain and spinal cord. And there's two different types. Explain those types to me. Well, the most common type is viral meningitis. Viral meningitis uh, oftentimes follows a cold or a stomach virus. Uh, it causes fever, headache, sometimes a stiff neck, but generally kids just don't feel so, don't feel well and um, uh, will have a fever. And bacterial meningitis is more serious though, bacterial right? Bacterial meningitis is more serious, much more dangerous. That oftentimes will follow a throat, ear, or sinus infection, mm -hmm. but sometimes it gets into the bloodstream and goes to the areas around the brain for reasons we don't know. And what are those symptoms? Those symptoms are severe headache, vomiting, um, and uh, kids are usually altered. They just don't feel well, they don't mm -hmm. look well, and they're much sicker. Not themselves. Um, the prognosis, is it promising? The prognosis for viral meningitis is actually very good. Mm -hmm. It's relatively common and uh, uh, usually goes away in about a week. The prognosis for bacterial meningitis depends on how quickly you get treatment. Mm. And uh, for that, you need IV fluids, antibiotics, and hospitalization. So anytime your child is presenting some of these symptoms, this is not something to wait on, really. You want to go ahead and see a physician as soon as possible. Right. If you think your child is uh, seriously ill or sick or something just doesn't seem right, it's a good idea to have your doctor check it out or come to the emergency room and have a doctor check, right. check them out. Dr. Baker, thank you so much. Some excellent tips. And for more information on meningitis and other health and wellness topics, you can go to our website, childrensal.org.